You're very sparkly, ma'am. Can you sense it? A powerful soul. And very close. You can't tell me that wasn't the final boss, was it? Ah, oh, God. What is in for me now? What do I have to fight? <laughs> oh, no, wait, it's just a dead guy. Oh, no, it's not. It's, it's the freaking Chimera. I know you, child of the Legion. I know you. In the silence of this place, I have met you countless times. But only in premonition or waking dream. Never before in the flesh. I need not speak my name. For you have already guessed who and what I am. Uh... Dumornay was looking for a treasure in the vault, but no one knew what it was. I think that treasure was you. You look upon a statue wrought of gold. But I was not always as you see me. I was once a creature of flesh. The last of my kind in the world. Please don't tell me I have to fight you. You saw my bones in the cave. Lying in a pool that was once my blood. That is all that remains of my mortal form. It was Mothakai who made me what I am now. The greatest treasure of the faith. He preserved my life, if only to exploit my gift. So, so here is the question, is Dumarnay dead? And there is this body right before that. This gift of yours. Can you tell me what it is? My race was born from the dying breath of the old creator gods. We were brothers and friends to Azanai, the twilight god with the golden hair. Our <clears throat> sight was keen. All of time was arrayed before our eyes. We burned bright, but not for long. This is going to be a very long conversation. As each of us died, the sight of the others would grow stronger. I was the last of my kind, so my vision was clearest of all. I can expect we'll spend another hour here. So you were an oracle. They kept you here and asked you questions? Yes, and I answered as well as I could. By serving the faithful, I thought I was serving Azanai, too. Until Molokai abandoned his faith. He set his followers to worship me, turned his own creation into a false god, and he was the only prophet. Oh boy. Then I answered his questions no more. Molokai kept you alive, but how? His people found me, broken and dying in the cave. Molokai knew that my race was sacred to Azanai. When he stumbled upon the last of my kind, he sensed the hand of his god at work. He caught my soul as it fled this world, bound me into an idol of gold, so that my gift, the divine gift of my race, would not be lost. It doesn't look like he's solid gold, it looks like just his mane is gold, so why would he be an idol of gold? He's like an idol of gold and marble or something. I came here to find Etienne Dumarnay. Is he... He's on the ground! Is he dead? <laughs> yes. Isn't it kind of obvious? He lies at my feet, as he has for many years. He was wounded by Molokai and the undead priests. But he dragged himself into this chamber before he died. 
and he asked a boon of me, for which he traveled so far and risked so much. A boon? Will you tell me what it was? Dumane asked me to do what he could not. To protect his daughter. To keep her safe from those who hunted him. To guard his bloodline. Until the Legion returned to claim his daughter as their own. Eleanor. She's his daughter, isn't she? Yes. She is a child of the Legion, like you. And she is the reason that the radiant youth brought you here. God, this is worse than the conversation with the Ents. If Eleanor came here with her father, then the monks must know who she is. Jolly's just staring off the A generation face. has passed Bored since out of Eleanor her mind. came to the Abbey. The monks of that time swore an oath to keep the secret of her birth. All of them are dead now. Only Simeon remains, and he will never tell. He loves the girl too much. Much. And Eleanor knows, but she fears what will happen to the Abbey if her secret is ever revealed. So she keeps silent, even to you. You're trapped in this vault. How could you protect her? When I lived, this desert was my home. I soared upon the wind. My voice was like thunder across the you sand. Stop asking questions. And storms would rise in my wake. That power has not deserted me. Not yet. When Jane Cassinder's spies came looking for the girl, I called upon the sand and the wind to destroy them. I saw a caravan buried in the sand. The wagons of the Witchmen. The wagons of they the Witchmen. They were agents of your enemy. And they died by my will. Awkward. Eleanor's life is here, at the Abbey. She'll be better off with the monks, not with us. But her blood makes her part of the Legion. That is her birthright, passed down by her father. We are her family, too. Eleanor stands at the confluence of many faiths. Legion and Church are bound together in her. Your words will sway her toward one or the other, and the future of both will turn upon that choice. I see two roads, two futures that lie before the girl. If Eleanor remains at the Abbey, and you are victorious against your enemy, she will rise high in the ranks of the church. I see her sitting amongst the hierarchs of the Synod, a voice for moderation and calm. That voice will turn the church from a foe of the Legion into a friend. And if she returns to the Legion with us? She will bear a child. Her bloodline will flourish. Among those who descend from her, I see many loyal men and women of the Legion. A grand master among them. But Eleanor will die before her child reaches his third year. She will save the life of an ally at the cost of her own. <sighs> so, shouldn't you be telling this to her? I mean, it's her future. Obviously, we're gonna have to make the choice, but... So if Eleanor joins the Legion, whose life is she going to save? 
The person's face is veiled in shadow. Perhaps because that future is not yet fully formed. But I know it will be another child of the Legion, like your companions and yourself. I need to know when these things will happen. Can you tell me? After Jane Cassinda falls, if she falls, they are contingent upon your victory and the rebirth of the Legion. As to the hour or the day, that is uncertain. These things are part of another tale that has not yet begun. I think I'm done. The statue's Thank you for tiring telling me. This. me. <laughs> I have nothing more to ask of you. As you wish. I have upheld my promise to Eleanor's father. Her fate is in your hands now. Whatever you decide. Why don't I just tell her everything and let her decide? Are you ready to leave? Or would you remain in my sanctum a while longer? Uh, I think I've got everything. I'm done here. I have what I came for. Goodbye then, child of the Legion. May fortune smile upon you. I, oh, I didn't check out that other passageway. I should go do that. You're safe. Whoa. Did you... did you find Dumane? I'm sorry, but he's dead. I found his body at the bottom of the vault. I thought so. It was silly of me to hope, especially after so many years. I assume this is the decision we're supposed to make. So should I tell her that she's like... It's like me deciding whether she's going to have a long, prosperous life or if her kids are going to be awesome. <laughs> uh... Well, and Jolly would be pleased if I told her she was one of us and she came home and she'd be like, Yay! We're awesome! Family is awesome! <laughs> I hate making decisions. We know you're his daughter. You don't need to keep your secret from us. Simeon warned me not to tell anyone who I was. He knew what would happen if Jane Cassinda found out that I was here. Sheltering a daughter of the Legion would mean death for everyone at the Abbey. The monks are all the family I have. Oh, here we go. I've kept my secret for their sake, not for mine. Seriously, I should just tell her. I'd be like, so, by the way, if you do this... This will happen. If you do this, this will happen. Like, honestly, she's there. He's like, nah, I'm not gonna tell her. I'm just gonna decide her future for her. <laughs> what a dick. <sighs> hmm. Should I condemn her to a life of living happily in the church and being powerful, or should I make her die and have a kid and make everybody sad? We need a friend in the church. You can do more good if you stay here. I will speak on your behalf, to the monks and anyone else who will listen. I only ask one favor in return. Tell the people of Ebb that my father's line is dead. Even if Jane is defeated, keep the secret of my birth. All right, you have my promise. And you have mine. When the war is over, I'll do what I can to reclaim the church. One day, we'll serve the people again, not ourselves. Thank you for all you've done, and for letting me stay. We are gigantic douchebags. Which is in pretty much par for the course for Dungeon Siege games. <laughs> can I go back in here? I wanted to check out what the, uh, I don't want to do all that again. <laughs> I want to go check out that other way I didn't go before. Whoa! Hi, camera. What's up? 
Whoa. God. Okay. I didn't ever go in here and there's like a side quest or something in here. I have to... Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Enjoy. Silver chalice. Oh god, there's a giant guy here. It's okay, we know how to handle this. Oh god, my face. Is everybody dead? Sweet. Can't open these things. Charge! Oh god. Overseer Salmon. I mean Salmon. Salmon? I want to have some Salmon for dinner. So I can, uh, I guess I'm pretty much done the yikes DLC now. I won't let you fall. Oh, that was very nice of you. Thanks. Ah, up and about again. Scholarship waits for no man's nap time. God. I'm You're not. I should just enchant some of my items. Like, what am I using right now? Can, like, increase DPS or something? Or increase will? Um, where is my shit? What am I- what am I using? There we go. And uh That noise just freaks me the hell out. Because I keep thinking I accidentally transmute it, but it asks if I want to do it though, actually. Warding. Major warding, sure. <laughs> to spend. Alright. Apparently inventory is still full even though I use those. Whatever. I leave this message for any person of good conscience who may find it. My name is Harem and I'm a humble servant of as you know. Light of the false gods, etc., etc. Looks like a lot of extra lore was just in this section. And treasure. Oh, Vesta. Oh, come on. I've got to switch over to her and just figure out what the hell I'm gonna do. I've got like 500 knives for this guy. Just gotta pick some and move on. He's got a lot of good weapons to pick from, anyways. Look, this is gonna be like showered with gifts when we finally get him. Okay. Just 
head just fell off. So anybody dead in here? Had enough of this clam bag. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, I should check on my audio too because it was only like a three hour audio file, so. You have completed the main quest for the DLC. You can tell about blah blah blah. blah. No, I would not, because I need to go turn in the quest, so. Hi! Sir, I would like to talk to you about the a hand. hand. You brought it back! <laughs> Still tell creeps me. me out. You didn't find out how St. Hiram died, did you? I found part of his journal. The last words he wrote. Here. It belongs in the Abbey. An account of his martyrdom? In his own words. As a nice blood. These pages are priceless. Got to reward that you. Nothing is this. moving on his face. And you're not allowed lips. to refuse. Yeah. The best I could find in our treasury. He's like key man. And now to return this hand to its rightful owner. He is way too cheerful about that. A gaudy brooch. Thank you, sir, for your gaudy brooch. That sounds kinda dirty actually. Um <sighs> okay. Light bringer. Okay, now we can leave. Well, we're done the DLC. That's probably a good time to go check on my audio and maybe take a break. Yes. I don't know if I have anything else going on. I should have probably checked before I teleported, because otherwise I have to walk all the way back. Where's my quests? Well, that's not quests, you idiot. Oh yeah. No, we're good. Let's just save and head back. Well, that was the DLC. It's incredibly brain damaging. Back through the river of jam. Psychedelic jam. So way do I go again? This way? This goes to Stonebridge. Wait, where am I going? Stonebridge? Stonebridge the place I want to be? Oh god, I'm so lost. <laughs> oh good. fight in this place or not. And we're back. Whoa, hi guys. It wasn't so quiet last time I was here. Legionnaires, petitioners, so much noise. Ugh, noise. Alright. So I'm probably gonna check on my audio and stuff and take a break, so this is three, okay. So I'm gonna leave off here for now. <laughs>